Okay, it's good to see you. It's a good day. 반갑습니다. 아마 오시는 분들도 계시는 것 같고 또 로날드 패밀리도 어, 또 어, 저기 갔죠. 볼리비아로 잠시 다녀온다고 했고 또 가족 두 가정이 빠지니까 오늘 좀 불빈하네요. 그럼에도 불구하고 주님 여기 우리 함께 하시는 줄 믿습니다. Jesus is here with us. Amen. Yeah, thank you so much for brothers and sisters who join us uh, through Zoom as well. Welcome all of you. Why don't you say hello to friends sitting next to you? Um, say hello something like this. You look beautiful today. You look handsome. Turn around and say hello. Uh, you look handsome. You look beautiful. When we gather and together in God's presence and uh, God is uh, ministering to us, uh, I just want to read uh, John chapter 14, verse 1 to 4. 요한복음 14장 1절에서 4절 말씀을 제가 읽겠습니다. Do not be, let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were so, if that were not so, I would have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Amen. Do you really believe that Jesus is coming back? 예수님 다시 오실 줄 믿습니까? Okay, he promised that after I prepare a place for you, I will come back. So um, we want to celebrate Jesus who was, who is, and who is to come. 오셨고 다시 오실 그 주님 우리 함께 찬양하기 원합니다. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you so much for your presence today. As we come to your presence, Lord, let your spirit move this place and touch every single person's heart that we may know you and experience you and really want to worship you, just forgetting about everything about me. To fix our eyes up on you, Lord Jesus. You are the one to be praised and worshipped even today. Let the Spirit of God touch us, help us to sing a new song. Oh, your Amen. Amen. The first song is Lord, I lift your name high, which is I used to sing on the mission field on the Africa or Caribbean. I like this song because of the what it says. 제가 이 처음 부를 거는 주의 이름 높이면인데요. 제가 선교지 있을 때이 노래를 정말 많이 불렀습니다. 그 이유는 여기에 복음의 핵심이 담겨 있는 것 같아요. The you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. 하늘 영광 버리고 이 땅에 십자가를 지시고 오신 그 주님께서 죽으시고 부활하셔서 어, 그 이름을 높일 수밖에 없는 이 시간인 것 같습니다. 우리 같이 이 찬양 힘차게 부르도록 하겠습니다. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praise. 
하늘 영광 버리고 하늘 영광 버리고 이땅 위에 십자가를 지시고 회사했네 무덤에서 일어나 하늘 올리셨네 주의 이름 높이리 You came from You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name. You came from heaven to earth. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Amen. Hallelujah.
us shut out. Let us not lead the souls to run out. Give us clean hands. Give us pure.
many people who want to find the way, the truth, and the light. So Ronald's family left for Bolivia to spend a month in their home country. Please help and bless them so that they have a wonderful time in Bolivia and come back safely with good health. May the newcomers who have been with us today discover their purpose of life and let them take their hard work and heavy burdens off. We are preparing a Christmas party held on December 19th. Please help us to prepare for it well and bless GFC to have a great time. May the Lord receive our praise, prayer, gratitude, and dedication, and speak to us through Pastor Anton, and set us free in the truth. We know that only you can change us. Even though we were born in different places, but we are one citizen under you, Father. May we be united in one spirit to love and care for each other and build a beautiful community. Be with us until the end of this worship service through Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your prayer. Did a good job. Excellent, Kim Sun Ok and Sun Yin. Did a good job. Uh, if you come to our worship service today for the first time, could you say hello to us? My name is Ban Su Kyung Gun Sang. 오늘 처음 오셨죠? 장소에 너무 처음으로 오셨는데, say hello. 인사 한번 나눠주세요. 박수로 환영해서 welcome, welcome to join us. Thank you. Some of you are uh, joining. Uh, with us uh, through June, and uh, thank you again for uh, joining us. So maybe if you, if this is first time for you to join us uh, through June, uh, bless you as well. And in future, I also try to organize some small group meeting, even online as well. So as we are starting new ministry here in Gangnam area, especially today is a new place. It's what a beautiful place, and God prepared especially for us. Let's give thanks to the Lord. <laughs> Uh, 하여튼 좋은 장소를 주님, 주님께서 예배해 주셔서 너무 감사하고요. Uh, uh, you can see it in different hall, and so as uh, we have more people to come to join, and uh, let us move to another place, and I hope in next month. Amen? Amen. Keep moving, keep moving. 오늘 uh, 특별히 uh, 우리 그 키스 토크는 uh, 되게 uh, 미국에서 우리 강사님이 보내주셨습니다. We have a special guest speaker for Keys, Global Keys. Unfortunately, all Keys, we have a four Keys today. They, they couldn't make it today. Uh, Ronald's family is in Bolivia and uh, one family, and they couldn't make it today, though. But anyway, it's okay. Even through online, this is a family-oriented worship service. So I encourage you, you just to share something, our beautiful worship service, including all children. So let us listen to the word of God. Uh, through this pastor from United States. Let's watch together. Hello, Global Kids. My name is Pastor Aram, and I'll be joining you guys today. And it's great and awesome to be here to share with you what we can learn from the Bible. So today, we look in the book of Genesis, and we continue on. We look at Noah, the Lord commanded Noah to build a ginormous boat. We're not just talking about any boats. We're talking about a huge, huge boat. And it's gonna, and that's why we call it the Noah's Ark. People, you know, Noah's neighbors and his friends, they looked at Noah and they're like, hey, Noah, what are you doing? And Noah told them, look, God told me that he's going to send rain and there's going to be lots of water. So he told me to boat, build this boat. And the people made fun of him. They laughed at him and they said, Noah, it hasn't rained in years. We haven't seen rain in like so long. And even if it does rain, like what, what's it going to do? Like it's, it's not going to be that bad. There's not going to be no flood. It's all going to be okay. You're, you're crazy. But guess what? Noah trusted God 
and obey God. So Noah and his family, they built the ark. And guess what? When the ark was finished, God commanded Noah to go in the ark. And he told them to gather the animals, right? Seven pair of every kind of clean animal. One pair of every kind of unclean animal. And seven pairs of every kind of bird that lived on the earth. And so when Noah and his family, was, they got in the ark and all the animals were in there, guess what? It rained. It actually started to rain. Now, when people saw the rain, they started to panic. But guess what? It was too late. These people didn't believe in Noah. And because they didn't believe in Noah, they basically didn't believe in God. And so only Noah and his family and the animals that were in the ark were safe. It rained for 40 days, right? Wow. Nonstop. Rain all over the earth for 40 days. And eventually the whole earth was flooded. And so after 40 days, he made the rain stop. And the water slowly began to disappear until the earth was dry again and the flood was completely gone. Now, when the flood was completely gone, God told Noah and his family, come out of the ark, it's safe. And so Noah and his family and all the animals, they came out of the earth, and God made a covenant. He promised to Noah. God said, I will never again destroy the whole earth like I did this time. And as a promise, here, I, I, give you, I send you this rainbow. As he's, he promises us that he will never destroy the earth like that again. And he told Noah that you and your family multiply and fill the entire earth, spread out all across the earth. That was God's command. And so today we learn that just like Noah did, we too can follow and choose to trust and obey God. When we trust and obey God, good things can happen. And also, when uh, we obey God's command, God, will, God has his promises, and he will keep his promise. God is someone who is faithful, okay? All right, so I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you all next time. It's a great joy for us to have uh, uh, guest speakers from different nations as well, and uh, even a special song as well. Thank you so much for Hyunjung and Sonny to organize a G GBS uh, special team as well. Uh, last Sunday, we had a team from Germany and they also sang a special song for us as well. So um, we want to see and uh, how God is uh, bringing all glory uh, through brothers and sisters from different nations. During this offering time, uh, we have a special uh, Korean traditional um, team uh, to play and beautifully and so we want to listen to uh, the, listen to the message even through worship song as well. So when we uh, keep offering to the Lord, uh, we want to give our heart uh, with a joyful heart, and that is the matter of how we give offering to the Lord. Let us give all our heart to Him, and while we are taking this offering time together, Amen. The first week, I talk about the purpose of our lives. We all want to know the
Amen. Amen. Wow, I didn't know that uh, the Korean um, traditional instrument is so beautiful. I didn't know that before. Beautiful. Thank you so much for a uh, special song uh, we had today. Um, as you know, um, we have a new series, The Purpose of Life. And through this time, I hope you may be trained and equipped well. Uh, especially for those who are coming to our church for the first time, you may help them through this 101 class. 아마 제가 이거 어, 지난 달부터 시리즈로 Purpose of Life 지금 오늘 세 번째 Who is Jesus Part 2를 하는데 아마 여러분 잘 아시는 내용입니다. 그럼에도 불구하고 우리가 배워서 앞으로 이제 1일 달부터 새로운 어, 가족들이 어, 오면 우리가 트레이너하고 준비할 수 있도록 지금 그런 시간들을 함께 갖고 있습니다. So for the last few weeks, we learn about what it means to live according to purpose of life. Uh, 우리가 하나님의 목적이 이끄는 삶이 무엇인지 지금 공부를 하고 있는데, let us look at the Word of God, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Romans 6장 23절 제가 읽겠습니다. Romans chapter 6, verse 23, just one verse. I'll read for you. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Do you believe that Jesus is here today? 오늘 주님 여기 계신 걸 믿습니까? 한번더 옆에 분들하고 인사하십시다. Jesus is here today. Turn around and say hello. Jesus is here today. Even through online and offline, wherever you are, His presence is with us. Amen. So it's good for me also to sit and listen to the Word of God. Instead of uh, me speaking English and Korean at the same time, it could be difficult. It takes a long time, so I prepared messages in advance. So let's watch and listen to the Word of God today so that we may know who Jesus is and we may experience Him more and more deeply. Amen? Let us watch and listen to the Word of God. The first week, I talk about the purpose of our lives. We all want to know the purpose of our life. Bible tells us a clear purpose of our life. Therefore, we must know the Bible, and the Bible focuses on one main character, Jesus Christ. So we learn about who Jesus is last week. Today, we continue to learn about who Jesus is. Before we look at the Word of God today, I want to start with this question. Who do you think Jesus is? Who is Jesus? The first, the Jesus claims himself as the only way and the only truth and the only life to meet God. He is the perfect God and the perfect man without sin to bring us back to God. And this is what we have learned last week. Today, let us study what Jesus has done for you and me on the cross. Let's look at the Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Open your Bible, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Uh, look at the screen. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Here, first question I want to ask you is, what is sin? Now, this is the, the first things we should know. When I was in Australia, I met uh, a man from Saudi Arabia who was afraid of death. So I said to him, I know someone who can solve the problem of death. He was very interested in listening to me. So I began to ask him, if you were to die tonight, where do you think you would go after death? He replied to me, well, I, I want to go to heaven, but I'm not sure. Inshallah, God knows, and he will judge me in the last day. Then I began to Share the Bible story. You know, brother, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. In another word, the result of sin is death. The fruit of sin is death. The reason why we are dying is because of a sin virus we got infected with from the beginning. He knew about the creation story in the beginning of the world. But what he said was very interesting to me. He said, I've never seen in my life. 
I never slept with a girl and I never drank. I never did anything wrong to anyone. I always try to help people live a good life so that I will be accepted to God. That is my life. Then I asked him, Wow, you never sin in your life? Then what is the sin, you think? How do you define sin? Then he answered me, sin is something like you know, stealing and killing and doing something wrong against people, against God. Then I explained to him about what Jesus defines sin in the Bible. I said, brother, sin is not simply to kill and steal something from people. It is the matter of heart issue. Jesus said, if you have a, a hate, hatred in your heart against brother and sister, you already murdered him or her. Even if you did not sleep with a girl, but you see a beautiful girl passing by and just begin to think in your mind that you wish to go to a hotel with her, you already committed adultery. If you see a beautiful girl with lust eyes, you already committed the sin of adultery. This is what Jesus defines about sin. Suddenly, his eyes were wide open and said, then no one could go to heaven. I said, yes, right. This is what Jesus defined about sin. In that case, there is no one who is perfect and righteous before God, and no one could be saved. This is bad news. That is why the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. One day, you and I are going to die. The death is the evidence that we all got infected with the sin virus. This is the bad news. But good news is here. The Bible also says, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, gift of God was given to you and me, which is eternal life. This gift is a free gift from God given to us in Christ Jesus. So now, to have this eternal life, we need to understand what Jesus has done for us. What has Jesus done for you and me? The first, he died for our sins. You know, sin brought us the five areas, broken relationships, broken relationship with God, broken relationship with the spouse, broken relationship with other people, broken relationship with the nature, and the broken relationship with even myself. That's why people are suffering today. Think about yourself. Even if you have a lot of money, but have a brokenness with your family members, how good does that money do to you? Nothing. Real to the tragedy in human history was a separation from God, which is caused by sin. Unless we become righteous before God, we cannot be accepted to God. Jesus became our righteousness. What does it mean that, by that? To understand this truth, you need to know the word righteousness. Look at the screen. This is a Chinese word, righteousness. As you probably heard the Chinese character known pictograph as a image shapes were developed by putting meanings and histories in picture. So uh, we can find the hint of a past, uh, a part of a God's story in Chinese characters as we analyze them. The Chinese word of righteousness here is divided into two words, lamb and I. It is interesting that righteousness is uh, something to do with the lamb and myself. When you analyze word, I, it can be divided into two words as well, hand and spear or knife. You know, in Old Testament, the people of Israel prepared the lamb or other animals to be killed instead of their sins. So they had to kill animals to shed blood by their hands to cleanse their sins. That is the right way for them to be righteous before God. You know, this is the picture of how Jesus became the Lamb of God. You know, Jesus came down to this earth 
to die on the cross to cleanse our sins once for all as the Lamb of God. That's why he is called as Lamb of God. You know what? Even if I died for you, I cannot cleanse your sins, which brought all of us to death. Because I'm the same sinner like you. That's why I am going to die one day as well. I cannot save you as the same sinner. But here is the good news. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now this is the story about what happened to man in the Bible. In the beginning, God created heavens and an earth. He made the universe and everything in it. In his last creation, God created a man in his own image to love God and to be loved by him. But the first man, Adam, was deceived by Satan, the devil, and he committed a sin against God. Since then, we have been suffering from broken relationship with God, broken relationship with the spouse and other people and nature, even with ourselves. Throughout the history, Men try to restore this brokenness by good works, philosophies, and human religions. But it didn't work. We all have sinned and cannot reach the perfect standard of God's righteousness. Unless we become righteous before God, we cannot be accepted to God. But God so loved the world and sent his one and only son who had no sin to be our sins on the cross, that we may be reconciled to God and reconciled to one another. That is uh, what the cross means. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Who is him here? Jesus Christ our Lord. In ancient time, animals' blood had to be shed to cleanse our sins. But now the blood of Jesus was shed on the cross to cleanse our sins once for eternity. To those who believe Jesus and his death on the cross, there is forgiveness of sin. This is what Jesus has done for you and me. Jesus died on the cross to reconcile us to God and to be reconciled to one another through his love. Second, Jesus rose again from the dead. Romans chapter 4 verse 25 says, He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. But Christ has you know, indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20 also says. Now, there is no one in the world who died and rose again from the dead. Jesus is the only one who conquered the dead. His resurrection guarantees eternal life for all those who believe in his resurrection. This is the power for eternal life. That is why we celebrate his resurrection on every Sunday, because he truly rose again from the dead on Sunday. This is what Jesus has done for you and me to give us eternal life. The last question here, how can you be saved from eternal death? When we are right with the God through Christ, we can have eternal life and start a new life with Christ. How can you do that? Let us look at the Romans chapter 10, verse 9 here again. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You can start new life with Jesus by ABC step. Remember ABC. First A, A stands for what? Admit. You need to admit that you are a sinner and repent your sins and turn to God. This is the first step. Second B, B stands for what? Believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose again from the dead to give you eternal life. That is second thing. The C, C stands for commit. Commit yourself to Christ as your 
confess with your master Jesus is Lord and Savior. When you take this step seriously and inviting Jesus into your life, the Spirit of Jesus come into your life and start work in you. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, and I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Brothers and sisters, sisters Jesus is knocking the door of your heart today. He wants to give you the gift of eternal life as long as you open your heart to him. If you admit that you are sinners and repent of your sins and turn to Christ, if we believe that Jesus has paid all penalty of your sins on the cross and rose again from the dead to give you eternal life, and if you commit yourself to Christ as your Lord and Savior and Master, He will come to your life and start working you even from today. Amen? Now, if you want to take this step of faith, I'll pray for you. Now, you may follow me with the confession of your mouth. Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent my sins and turn to you. Have mercy on me. I believe you paid all the penalty of my sins and died on the cross and rose again. I open my heart and invite you into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you truly accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He will start to work in your life from today. Now I just want to conclude this time. I want to encourage you to enjoy eternal life even from today. If you take a new step of faith, what is eternal life? John chapter 17, verse 3 says, Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Christian life is in progress of knowing him more and more deeply as time goes by. As much as you know Jesus and experience him, even on this earth, you may enjoy eternal life, not all there after death, but here even on this earth, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? I pray that you may continue to grow knowing Jesus to enjoy eternal life. So from next week, we are going to learn more about the true faith that Jesus is looking for. If you want to stand firm until the end. Amen? Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for today. It's a great joy for us to know who Jesus is. Yes, Jesus, you are the perfect God and perfect man to be the bridge between God and us. Thank you, Father, for your sacrificing love shown to us on the cross. Help every single person here around the world through online, offline, to know you and experience you and taste you more and more deeply. I want to praise you, Father, for the things that you have done for us on the cross Continue to help us to know you and to make you known to the world through our life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, um, I prepared the sermon note every Sunday, and you may just uh, take note and remember of what you have learned each Sunday. So what is sin? Could you answer me? What is sin? Sin is not something, you know, stealing and killing, but sin is the matter of heart issue. Heart issue. Even if you have, you know, just a hatred against your brothers and sisters, even right now, you are murdering someone. 마음에, 그죠? 미워하는 마음만 있어도 살인죄를 졌다고 말씀하고 계시죠? 죄는 마음에 문제라고 주님 말씀하고 있습니다. So what, is, what Jesus has done for us in, on the cross is He just paid the penalty on the cross. He died to pay the penalty of our death and He rose again. Amen? 
He really rose again on Sunday. That's why we celebrate on Sunday. Uh, 주님 진정으로 주일 부활하신 줄 믿습니다. 그래서 우리가 주일마다 예배를 드리는 이유가 있는 것이죠. Remember ABC? Okay, ABC, remember? A. When you share the gospel with someone who don't know Jesus yet, 예수님 알지 못하는 사람 복음 전할 때 ABC 잘 기억하세요. A. A 뭐죠? Admit. Admit, brother, you are sinner. That's why you are going to die. Admit that you are a sinner and repent your sin and turn to God. That is the first step. B, 비가 뭐죠? Believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose again. C, commit your life to Jesus. ABC를 여러분 잘 기억하시고 복음 전할 때 여러분 활용하시면 좋겠고 이 지금 6주 과정으로 제가 6주 동안 101 클래스를 해서 우리 GFC 웹사이트에 올릴 겁니다. 앞으로 그러면 그거 보시면서 여러분 복음 전하시도록 제가 컨텐츠를 올리려고 합니다. So after this, you know, the, the series of a purpose of life, we will put all the um, uh, video clips uh, on uh, GFC website so that you can use it even to share the gospel with the people. Amen. A, B, C. I made it. A, B, C step. A, B, C. After, 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 after A, B, C, what is, the, what is that? Alphabet? D. Do you know what is D? Develop. Okay, Christian, Christian life is all about developing the deeper level of relationship with Christ. 자, Christian life는 뭐냐니까 주님과 더 깊은 관계를 만들어가는, developing하는, 개발해나가는 관계를 말씀하고 있는 거죠. D, develop. 나이가 들수록 예수님 더잘 알아가는 게 아니고 우리가 계속 주님 알기 위해서 주님 앞으로 다가가야 될줄 믿습니다. Develop. As much as you know Jesus, that much you can share. Last E. E가 그때 생기는 거예요. E가 뭐죠? Evangelize. D 다음에 Evangelize가 나오는 겁니다. 여러분이 오늘 we learn about the eternal life. Eternal life is not just living forever. 영원히 사는 것이 영생이 아니에요. Even those who reject Jesus will live forever in hell. 지옥에 영원히 살 거예요. 예수 믿지 않는 사람들도. 영원히 사는 것이 문제가 아니라 Where we are going to live forever. 어디에서 누구가 누구와 함께 영원히 사는가가 중요한 거죠. That's why Jesus said eternal life is all about knowing God and knowing Jesus. 그래서 성경은 영생을 하나님과 그 보내신 자를 아는 것이라고 말씀하고 있는 것입니다. Okay? So I just hope you may experience Jesus more and more deeply. And as time goes by, 세월이 갈수록 더 주님을 알아가는 저와 여러분 되시길 바랍니다. Let us worship all together. Would you stand up and we want to sing the last song, All the Wonderful Cross. Let us just uh, meditate on the cross of Jesus who died for your sins and rose again. 어, 십자가의 주님을 한번 기억하시, 묵상하시면서 이 찬양했으면 좋겠습니다. When I survey the wondrous cross.
so amazing as we learn today the eternal life is not just simply living forever but it's knowing Christ how much do you know Jesus eternal life는 그냥 영원히 사는 게 아니에요 죽고 나서 영원히 천국 가서 영원히 사는 게 아니라고 말씀합니다 오늘 심플한 메시지인 것 같지만 how much you enjoyed eternal life each day with Christ 정말 주님과 함께 여러분은 얼마나 영생을 누리고 계신지 Let us pray all together, remembering of what Jesus has done for us. 주님께서 우리를 향해서 하여 행하신 일을 기억하시면서 감사하십시다. Let us give thanks to Him for the things He has done for you and me on the cross. And let us pray that Lord Jesus, I want to know you more and more deeply. As time goes by, 주님 세월이 지나갈수록 주님을 더 깊이 알기를 원합니다. Not just the head knowledge, but deeply my heart. 머리로 만난 것이 아니라 정말로 인격적인 관계 속에서 주님을 더 깊이 알기를 원합니다. As much as we know him, we can make him known to the world. 주님을 암만큼 세상에게 알려 주실 줄 믿는 줄 믿습니다. 주님 더 알기를 원합니다. 그리고 기도하십시다. 
Lord Jesus, I thank you for this new place. Let, the, let this place be the center of a blessing to all nations. 주님 이 장소가 열방을 축복하는 장소가 되도록 성령님 기름 부어 주시옵소서. Lord Jesus, you is our tool, even simple to, to touch the nations. 주님, during this Christmas season, we want to just share the gospel to show them the meaning, the true meaning of a Christmas. 예수 그리스도의 성탄의 의미가 무엇인지 복음 전하는 이 시간 주님이 준비하는 성탄 아우리치를 축복하여 주시고 우리를 사용하여 주시옵소서 Let us pray all together with the three prayer requests prayer, prayer point on the screen you can see 보시면서 함께 중보하며 기도하기로 합니다 Let us pray all together 주님 감사합니다 주님 감사합니다 Lord Jesus want to thank you so much for today as we come to your presence You are the one Lord Jesus to be praised and worshipped Thank you so much, Father, for the praise that we come and celebrate to worship you today. Thank you, Father, for the beautiful place that you have given us today. Lord Jesus, we want to pray and ask you that, Lord Jesus, move this place. Let this place be the center of a blessing to all nations, Lord Jesus, as we really want to know you more and more deeply as time goes by. Not just as a head knowledge, but as a deeply in my heart, Lord Jesus, you come and touch us. Speak to us, Lord Jesus, and experience in you every morning, Lord Jesus, every evening. In daily life, Lord Jesus, let your presence be with us, Lord Jesus. We want to see you clearly. We want to touch you. We want to see you, Lord Jesus, that we may be the channel of a blessing to the people around our lives, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you so much, Father, for today. Oh, Lord Jesus, we want to ask you that you touch every single person here today. Lord Jesus, do something and touch them and speak to them, Lord Jesus. And what a great joy for us in your presence, Lord Jesus. You are the one, Lord Jesus, to be glorified, to be worshipped, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you so much, Father, for you, Lord Jesus, for your work done for and for every single person here today, Lord Jesus. I want to ask you that you touch the single person, Lord Jesus, every single person, even online. Even today, Lord Jesus, uh, let your spirit penetrate their heart that they may know Jesus. They may come to know you, Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, Father, we want to thank you so much for today, Lord Jesus. Uh, you are the one to be worshipped and praised. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you so much for today. Thank you so much, Father, for your presence be with us today. Even though we cannot see, even though we cannot feel, your presence is with us today. Let the Spirit of Jesus touch every single person's heart today. Penetrate their heart that they may see you and taste you and experience you more and more deeply as time goes by. Not as a head of knowledge, but by our heart that we may have a personal relationship with you more and more deeply. I want to thank you so much, Father, for brothers and sisters, even who can who, who join in our worship service through online. You will touch them, you will penetrate their heart even through your spirit. Move this place, Lord Jesus. Let this place be the center of blessing to all nations. I want to thank you so much, Father, for your work as you start. What a great privilege for us to get involved in your wonderful work. Continue to help us to expand your kingdom church in this center of Gangnam. I want to thank you so much, Father, for your presence. Let your name be glorified and honored through all we do, even in this coming week. Amen. I want to invite Pastor Song Mok Pae and I'll come and bless us today. Let's pray. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 죄의 싹순 사망이요. 하나님의 은사는 그리스도 예수 우리 주 안에 있는 영생입니다. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross, the love of God our Father, who gave us His only Son, and the fellowship, power, and anointing of the Holy Spirit be with all who really want to live for Jesus Christ. 이 시간 간절히 비옥기는 예수 그리스도의 한이 없으신 은혜와 아버지 하나님의 급진하신 사랑과 성령님의 교통하심과 능력 주심과 기름 부으심이 
주님을 위해서 살아가고자 하는 모든 주의 백성 머리머리 위해 좀 영원토록 함께 하시길 간절히 축원하옵나이다. 아멘. 네. 아멘. 아멘. Thank you so much. Please be seated. 앉아 주시고요. 간과 드리겠습니다. 오늘 이렇게 귀한 장소를 허락하여 주신 주님께 우리가 영광의 감사를 올려드렸으면 좋겠습니다. We want to give thanks to the Lord who just gave us a wonderful place. 우리 감사의 박수를 올려드렸으면 좋겠고요. 지난 주에는 우리가 굉장히 많이 밑에 자리가 비좁을 정도로 부족했는데. 지금 어, 로날드 가정도 빠지고 어, 몇 분들 많이 빠지셨는데 오늘요 어, 오늘 다른 행사도 있기도 하고 들었습니다. Uh, but we just try to share the gospel and for brothers and sisters in Gangnam City area. 그렇죠? 그래서 we prepared a special outreach during this Christmas season. Uh, 이렇게 포스터도 준비하고 지금 여러분 아시는데 어, 그 어, 카톡을 통해서라든지 포스터를 통해서라든지 주위 있는 분들 많이 알려주셔서. On the 19th of December, um, uh, Sunday, and we have a special uh, service here, and want to celebrate uh, Christmas and what is the Christmas means. So it is good time for us to share the gospel. Christmas season, uh, 우리가 3분 speech, Korean 3분 speech contest를 해서 uh, 여기 있는 유학생들, 그래서 아주 비싼, uh, 무슨 시계입니까? 삼성 갤럭시 시계와 또 어, 2등은 이거 뭐죠? 이어폰도 좋은 거 애플 준비를 했습니다. 그래서 주위에 알려주셔가지고 and we may have a good contact um, you know, uh, during this Christmas season. Christmas is 너무 보금전하게 좋은 시절 아닙니까? 그래서 3분 컨테스트 어, 상금 어, 귀한 선물이 있다는 거 알려주셔서 나가실 때 어, 여러분 다 갖고 가셔서 좀 공부를 많이 해주셨으면 좋겠습니다. Okay, because of COVID-19 and uh, even we prepared uh, you know, just a uh, It's a hamburger today. It's a hamburger and also um, tea. So in your place, quiet tree, without speaking anything, just take it quickly. Uh, 빨리 드시고, uh, 5분 만에, 2분 만에 드시고, 마치고 우리 마스크 쓰고, 또 교제하는 그런 시간 가졌으면 좋겠습니다. Thank you again for joining us today and offline and online. May God bless you and I'll see you next Sunday. Bless you. Thank you.